Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO DVS, and thank you for everybody that likes, shares, comments, subscribes to our social media platforms. Please do continue to do so. Thank you to Toshiba for sponsoring our channel and for being such an awesome hard drive manufacturer. And don't forget to download the DVS app on your Android or iOS where you can log tech calls, look at information about your account, and that will the functionality will grow and grow and grow. You can be notified about new products, new videos, new competitions, etc. So it is definitely worth downloading the app to your pocket. Version 2 is already being looked at. Okay, so what are we going to look at today? So one of our great partners at DVS is Netginium. So I've done a video previously on this. It was about 18 months ago but the product has evolved a little bit since the original video hence the reason we're doing a quick video to introduce a really helpful technology to you guys so a lot of you guys use audio so whether it's audio from uh, uh, output of the nvr to an amplifier 100 volt line to a speaker or speakers um, some of you are using poe speakers and some of you are using the camera output there's three different ways of doing it all three are effective for different ways what netginium have done so Netginium have relaunched this PoE IP speaker. So it's PoE powered with an RCA lead on it, which allows you to take this directly into the back of a DVR, NVR, or you can cut the lead off and wire it straight into an IP camera, but power it via PoE. It's a very cost-effective solution to give you audio, a really nice audio at a given location without wiring a 100 volt line system. That's not always possible to wire a 100 volt line system back to an amplifier distributor and then therefore give you audio. This is a really nice way of doing it. Like Imix will definitely, if you're using Imix as a remote platform or Hike Central or IMS 4200 or even Hike Connect app, this will allow you to route the audio directly to the IP camera, so you don't have to take it from the NVR DVR like you used to have to do historically when being remote monitored or interacted with. Now you can take it directly from the camera. But what we're gonna do is take the product out of the box. So you can see it comes with an integrated bracket. Um, you can coach bolt it, screw it, washers, etc., whatever, to your surface. Very traditional looking horn speaker, but it's designed in a way to give you a nice audio output, throws it a long distance over a wide um, curve, so it's very, very effective. Now on the back of the connection, you'll see there's a pre-made cable with a PoE, RJ45 PoE connection, and an RCA cable. So effectively, this allows us to take this into a PoE switch, or if you've got a PoE NVR like I have here, so the IDS 77 or any NVR with PoE port. I've got a spare PoE port on the back of this recorder. I'm simply going to take this RJ45 into the PoE of the NVR, plug this into the audio output and demonstrate how it works through the Hype Connect app. So it couldn't be simpler. It takes minutes to do. It takes you longer to connect this up or bolt this to the wall than it will to connect these. You can extend this cable. You can put an RJ45 coupler and an R see a audio cable link in there if you do want to take it directly from the recorder or place it next to a static camera or a ptz power with poe and then connect that into the audio output of said camera you might have to use um either cut the cable off there but be careful because of the warranty or just use our uh, audio adapters we sell audio adapters for different purposes so it's 3.5 mil rca wire terminals etc we've got a few different ones speak to your dvs sales rep on the back of the unit, it's got a wind down, so you can simply use a flathead screwdriver and turn the winding up or down, so it's the volume adjustment. So preset out of the box, it's loud enough. If you want to make it slightly louder or slightly less louder, you can use a flat blade screwdriver, turn that screw there, which will then um, adjust the volume accordingly, because we can't adjust the volume via the app, etc. But what you can do, is stick it up, adjust the volume on the back there. It's IP65 rated, uh, so perfect for indoor or external use. And that's it, no configuration, nothing. PoE powered, very cost effective unit, very well made, 
from the premium partner Nat Ginium, who are audio specialists, and they have many other audio solutions available. IP and PoE solutions are their specialist thing. So if you don't know who they are, you should do by now. Please do go check them out, give them a follow, like, share, subscribe, whatever, and look out their product portfolio. If there's anything in there that interests you or you want to know more about, please do contact us at DVS or them directly. So I'm going to simply connect this into the back of the recorder. Like I said, it takes seconds to do. Um, what I do need is a pair of scissors. Wait there. Okay, I don't have a pair of scissors to hand, but there's an old trick you can use here to get the cable tie off. Simply put a flat blade screwdriver, rotate the cable tie, and it snaps. There you go, old school trick. So, cable comes out there, we're going to simply plug it into the back of the recorder feed it through this way so we've got enough room to connect it in the back okay so all we've done there folks is plug the PoE port into a spare PoE port of the NVR the RCA cable went straight into the audio output I can now simply open up the high connect app Okay, so I'm going to use the Hide Connect app. Like I said, I've already opened the app. I can simply, that recorder is that camera there. So if I just show you. So it's the same camera, just so you know it's the same unit. Simply, audio device at the bottom there. So we're going to select that. And we're going to select NVR, DVR. Or you can speak directly to the IP camera if needed. So I'm going to do this now. Hello. I'm going to go outside. So that's set at about medium volume now. Uh, you can adjust it up or down, but you can see there how powerful that is. And hopefully, well, I'm in a, I've actually walked down to about half of the building. I can still hear that reverbing on the building. So outside, it would have a really powerful effect. So hopefully, this shows you how good this product is. And then when you finish, close the app down. But again, same with the central station. They would simply talk for it and it would come across on this unit. Again, it's used for CCTV. It's primary use. It's not really going to be that great in music, although you can put music across there if you're not interested in Dolby 5.1 uh, sound quality. You could use it as a music uh, as well as uh, audio for talking. But other than that, hopefully that's all you need to know. Please do get in contact with the DVS sales team and they'll give you some more information and the pricing on this unit, but it's got massive potential. Please, thank you everyone who's liked, share, commented, and subscribed, etc. Stay safe and we'll see you next week for another how-to video. Take, take it easy, guys.